Farside chat was a little bit of a surprise. I definitely was not expecting this to be a um, contingency contract <laughs> style event like they have in Arknights. With the easy mods in here, plus different buffs that you can give to the enemies to make everything a little bit harder. When it comes to Act 1, the hardest buffs have been the Resolve, Toughness, Immunity to Knockback, as well as the 80% damage to all allies when someone gets taken down. Can't really run a melee team in here, which made things a little bit more complicated than they had any right to be. Still, I got into this with a mostly ranged team. Beryl and Edda helped a lot in here, and the plan was fairly simple. Take these two out, we sit in here, put Tar over onto the steps, and try and AoE all the five units that are going to be coming up. This one also needs to be triggered in order to start moving. So while we do waste the first turn, thankfully this one doesn't have a hard turn requirements. It should be like 11 or 15 turns as well. So again, first thing first, Tar on top of these stairs. I do not want these guys to get any close to me. The looks at bombs we don't really care all that much about. Once we clear the top of the stairs, we can just turn back and take care of the two bombers down here. And yeah, between the past event and this one, I also managed to get a pretty decent wheel tarot. So I swapped it from the Fia. The lock attacks are also fantastic to help clear the resolve. Since we have these so low, one of them is enough for the second kill. Now that we are holding the high ground, we can move back a little bit and keep on baiting the units downstairs. There's the first one gun, and that bomb needs to die. I get the feeling that if you destroy them, you take a bit less damage. But still, don't want those to explode at the end of the turn. A bit of a swap in here, but that's fine. We managed to get back on these stairs. And this is where I want another AoE down here. Rafia Summons just going to explode, that's fine. Uh, this little thing on Barrel is actually quite surprising. You do need an accessory that lets you use an instant skill. But you use it and the movement requirement from Boom disappears. So you can move and cast the AoE. Deal. One cast, we are almost done already. The movement down this low remains. Give them some extra vulnerability. And yeah, that tarot is absolutely fantastic on her. <laughs> Jesus. 
Can't wait until I get a few more stars under her belt, because that's going to deal a crap ton more damage. And we are down just to the last one. Need to move her out of the way, otherwise she gets attacked and one shot. And yeah, it might have a crap ton of HP, but we're getting close. Slowly but surely, it will go down. Meitha, of course, thankfully can tank everything. And I think that's it. Espionage order, some more end of turn damage. We just need to proc the resolve. And that's it. Now, I had to watch out for a couple of one shots, but as long as you can keep all of the enemies as far away from you as possible, that's going to be fine. That's going to be more than fine. Hell, that one was actually quite easy. I think I had to do like one reset for it. All right then, that was the first level of Farfside chat. As always, thanks a lot for watching. Good luck with your clears and see you guys around soon. Ciao. Così vita, no,